What is up YouTube, back for another quick video on the 04 Mr. Chrome Cobra. Today we're gonna to be replacing this god-awful trunk mat. All right guys, so as you can see, this uh, my factory trunk mat carpet here is uh, pretty beat up. You can see it's got a lot of grease stains. I'm really not sure where they all came from, but uh, they're soaked in there pretty good. It's gone into the carpet underneath and it's warped the little cardboard piece here too. I've tried straightening it out, putting weights on it, soaking it a little bit, and but it just doesn't want to retain the shape. And then these are giving me a little bit too hard of a time getting the actual grease stains out. One section of it does smell like gear oil. So I'm having a hard time with it. I tried baking soda, I tried rubbing alcohol and it's just not working. So we're gonna trash this. We're gonna order a new ACC full trunk carpet with the cardboard off of LMR along with a Fender Gripper Cobra trunk mat. So let's throw this stuff out. We'll do a review on that new mat, get that installed, throw the Fender Gripper on there. We'll see how she looks. All right, so here we have our new trunk mat that we just got from LMR. Um, you can see here, it's got some heavy creasing. I had put some weights on it to uh, try to flatten it out a little bit, but it's got some uh, deep grooves here, uh, which I'm not too fond of, but luckily we have that fender gripper that's gonna go over it, so you're not really gonna see it. So I'm not gonna make too big of a deal about it. Um, but you can see this material, uh, it is thicker than the factory one. It feels a little bit different. It is uh, definitely thicker. This is the underside of it. So um, it's a little heavier, um, but hopefully it'll hold up. Another thing to mention, the part here that tucks behind the back seat doesn't look like it has any holes for the four push pins. So you can either try, I guess, just tuck this behind the rear seat, or if you do want to utilize those factory push pins, we're gonna have to line it up and just drill a hole through so that we can uh, use those. But overall, I mean, it's nice and, uh, it's nice and thick. This is just really the only thing that kind of bothers me, but um, let's get this installed in the trunk and we'll check out the fitment. All right guys, so we got the new mat in. Um, you can see the fitment is pretty decent. Um, it fills in, you know, the crevices pretty well. And uh, it has the slits there and the one right in the middle that goes in between your seat bracket. So uh, it's sitting actually pretty good. Um, you can see there's a little extra material here, but obviously there's room for some movement to, uh, set it exactly how you like it. So overall the color you can see, I mean, it's a little bit darker, but, uh, from a distance, you know, and this is with the flesh on, you know, it, it matches good and it's definitely worlds better than the one that I had that was all greasy. This is nice and sturdy. You can see it's all nice and flat and level now. So it doesn't look like you're going to need the push pins. Um, like I said, this is grooved right here and uh, it's basically all just tucked right behind the seats. So we're gonna try putting the seats up and see, and we might be able to get away with not even using those push pins. All right guys, so there you have it. We have the seats back up. You can see um, it fits actually really nice. So. I just moved this uh, panel a little bit and you can see it It fits really well. Um, so overall for a hundred bucks and a non-factory replacement, uh, I think it's you know definitely a good option. And now we're just gonna get that fender gripper and we're gonna throw it on top. Then we're gonna get our cargo net installed and we'll be all set. All right, so for our cargo net, we actually had ordered this one off of eBay. I think it was about $15 or so. It said it was for the Cobra. So, I figured why not since you can't find an OEM one. So we have the cargo net here. And what's cool too is that they actually include a couple of the hook clips if you needed it, which if you actually had to buy a couple of these from Ford, they're like 15 bucks just for these two clips. So pretty much you buy clips and you get an F for free. If you don't need them, great. If you do, now you have some spares. And then we have our cargo net here. So let's just get this sucker put on. All right, guys, so there you have it. We got the fender gripper installed. Fitment is okay. Um, you know, could be a little bit better, especially for what you pay for these things. But overall, um, 
you know, it's not terrible. It'll get the job done, and at the end of the day, it is the trunk. So, uh, but overall, I think it looks really, really good. We got our cargo net in here, so now we can put our stuff in here and not mess up our new mat and keep everything organized and not sloshing around the whole trunk when we're ripping it. So, overall, uh, I'm super happy with the turnout. We took a nasty, oily, warped trunk setup. We got a new mat, new board, new cover cargo net so we really uh transformed this trunk and then i have one more goodie coming which i can't wait to do a video on so give that a few weeks and i'll have a video up on that and then the whole trunk setup will be done so thanks for watching if you guys have any questions comments just drop them below and thanks for watching